Nothing like a little after lunch concert. Kid, I'm I'm gonna go out for some air. Hmm. Where'd you learn to play music like that, Danny? I always know music. Danny can play any instrument. Eli like harmonica, so I play for him. Are you related to Eli? No. Eli, my friend. How long you been with him? Since Danny 12. Where's your family? No. Family doesn't like Danny. Danny leave. Eli find Danny. Eli, my friend. Working over there. I'm still working in the hotel. What do you mean you can't tell us? Why can't you? Yeah, we got right to know. Hope you don't feel as bad as you look. Uh, now come on. I told you something I ate. Before I can give you any answer. What's going on over there? I don't know, but it don't look too good. You tell us if it worked. Hold on, hold on. What's going on, Doc? It's not looking good. I got two more hotel guests with the same symptoms Elijah died from, and they and they both drank some of the elixir he was selling. You drank some of that snake oil, didn't you, Teaspoon? Doc! Doc! My grandfather's dead. And I found this by his bed. I got family waiting. Stock to ten, too. Well, this never would have happened to that damn medicine show hadn't come through town. Yeah. Darn right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, folks, but we got no choice. Not until that writer gets back with the Army surgeon's findings. And until then, I can't say it enough. There's no proof it's cholera. We know what you said. Pump, could you sit down and be quiet? Folks, we got to stop panicking. It isn't going to help. We'll have an answer when Buck gets back. Hold on. People, hold it. Friends, we will take a moment to pray for the souls of those who died and for the recovery of those who were ill. Now, if you all bow your heads. Pray to the good Lord that he forgive us our sins and beseech him to drive away this pestilence from our door and keep our town safe. Rest. 
Then we gotta move on. I could use some rest too. Teaspoon, we got problems at the way station, too. With Bucket Fort Laramie, Lou out on her ride, and Ike just back with short riders. Lou's due back today. Yeah, but Cody's up next, and Ike or Lou ain't gonna be ready to ride for at least another day. <sighs> What'd he say? Doc's got his hands full, Teaspoon. He'll be over as soon as he can. He said to take in as much water as you can. But I can't keep it down. You ought to just let us take you on over there to Rachel now. Let her take care of you. No, I've got a job to do. Yeah, but you look like... Big problems, Marshal. Would you care to be more forthright, Barnett? Well, there's a bunch of angry men from Blue Creek gathering just outside town come to make sure no one leaves Sweetwater. How'd they find out? Yep, yep. Now, Teaspoon, you're too sick to handle this. All right, sir. Uh, Hickok, we'll skip the formalities. You're deputized. Get a badge out of that drawer. You take the kid and Noah, find Doc Barnes, and do whatever you got to to stop this craziness. All right. Acting Deputy Marshal of Sweetwater, James Butler Hickok. I'd like to know what you're doing here. Come to make sure none of you people leave. What do they think we're here for, Hickok? Settle down. Sweetwater's taking care of itself just fine. Well, that may be so, Mr. Hickok, but we're gonna make sure the cholera don't spread to Blue Creek. Doc Barnes, he explained to them. People, first and foremost, you got to know there's absolutely no proof of cholera. Why are we supposed to believe that? Ain't what I heard, Doc. Now, it's just a precaution until we get some answers from the Army surgeon in Fort Laramie. Well, we're staying until then. And you'll observe the quarantine. No one's coming into this town, do you understand? Well, that's fine, Deputy. No one's leaving, either. We've got sharpshooters surrounding the entire town. If they try it, we'll make them turn back. And if they don't, Deputy Marshal, we'll shoot them. <laughs> Doc says you gotta drink a lot of water. I know it's difficult. <laughs> I'm gonna die, Anna. Nonsense, Cody. You're gonna be fine. You can't die, Cody. You still owe Hickok. <laughs> Tell him. Tell him to dig me up and. Pull my fiddlings. 